<laughs> you know you love me. I am the charm of this live stream. Good. My British voice has all of the ovaries shook it. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ, hate Christ. that song. Yeah, no. Okay. I, yeah, no. Sure. But yeah, if, if you're really not a fan of that song, I won't. Don't worry. I mean, you could argue there are technically worse songs out there, but that song is a horrible example of writing a power ballad. Like, all it, all, no, like, okay, so they say, like, okay, so Simple Plan, Simple Plan claims that the song's supposed to be about drinking and driving, but the lyrics never really specify that. It's just, I can't stand the pain, how could this happen to me, I've done shit, and that's it. Like, that could amount to anything, and in the way, and the, the context has such a horrible implication of just whining and bickering for the sake of whining and bickering. It's so badly composed. I mean, as much as we don't like it, you got to admit, that's kind of the message we're getting from the current generation. Well, here, oh, here's ouch. The sake of bitching. <laughs> There's a song by a, a band called Soundgarden, which is a 90s <laughs> Seattle alternative and grunge. Yeah, I know band. who they are. Yeah, uh, they have a song called <laughs> Spoon Man. <laughs> Spoon song, Man! Yeah, yeah no, I know this about, song. <laughs> I'm getting high. <laughs> You know, that doesn't sound surprising. Yeah. It's crazy. Entity? Okay, Entity of Darkness? That's an understatement. It's not that their lyrics are generic. Their lyrics are just pathetic. Like, No, you don't know what it's like. Welcome to my life. Shut up. Back Grow back some back fucking back. balls. It's like, the good... Okay. The good way to do an edgy song, in my personal opinion, is the All My Friends Are Heathens even though it was made specifically for Suicide Squad. Fucking, I'm gonna be honest, Golden, you sounded like Shadybox for a second there. <laughs> oh, you mean I sounded like fucking Buttons? Yeah. You know, I guess I could be Diet <laughs> Buttons if Shady Fox can't do anything. <laughs> no, Mother, I gotta complete this game. <laughs> Mom, I'm ready for school. <laughs> Don't mind at night. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind at night. <laughs> also, how would Equestria work if you had ponies like that whose cutie marks are potentially going to be the ambition of professional gaming? It'd yeah. probably be a game designer or something. Is like, I know that's where they were going with Button Mesh. Because, you know, Button Mesh isn't a thing anymore, because, you know... Has Hasbro had ass. that stick up their ass and said, No, yeah, you're using a like character, we're seeing Dean your ass. It's like, they got bent out of shape because somebody did one of their characters better than them. <laughs> which, you know, is kind of what the entire fandom does anyway. Yeah. It's like, I actually had this idea. Me, okay, me, Snickerman, Continuum Blitz... Felix Fulcher, I shit, I forgot. Okay, Golden. Yes. I've forgotten this multiple times, and he's asked me multiple times, and I feel like shit, so I'm just going to do it midstream. A friend of mine, Felix Fulcher. Okay. You already know where I'm going with this. Um, he's pretty chill. Like, extremely. Like, he's a. Uh, I think he isn't. He's co owner in, Vs, in Epic V server, right? Yeah. He's okay. Cool he's no nonsense, and if someone's being a dick in your server, he'll light them up real good. <laughs> and he'll either make them <laughs> shut up. If he doesn't make them shut up, he'll make them leave. <laughs> light them up, 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 light them up, 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 light up. <laughs> Pretty much. Music is just... I, I do music that's just... <laughs> but yeah, he's asked me multiple times about it, and it's just like, I feel bad now, because I always meant to ask you, but, you know, random things get happening. Yeah. God, Blast Hornet, you go down like a bitch when it comes to this weapon. All jokes aside, though, about Button Mesh, uh, Shady Vox, I, I absolutely love Shady Vox and his music. I actually have the physical CD of the, their fucking, of his band, Scratch 21, the first EP. It's fucking awesome. Wait, 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 well, hold on a second. What did it for say? A friend of mine told me that the guy who issued the C&D uh, actually got fired from Hasbro. 
really. I, I honestly don't know what to think of that. Okay, I'm in... Wait, what? <laughs> it's... I mean, take it with a grain of salt. He's a friend of his told him that, so... How reliable is this friend? What, like, what is their source behind this? Yeah, you're gonna need to, like... Yeah, you need to share other information. Okay, he's shrugging. Yeah. I see. Okay. Uh, Hang on, if the guy who issued the CND got fired from Hasbro, if they did, then... Does that mean Barton Mash is in the clear? If it's true, which it might not be. You know, honestly, I, I wouldn't hold my breath. As much as I would yeah. want to see Button Mash come back, we can't really do anything about it. Mm -hmm. uh, any ceasing desist that's done, even if the person that did it is no longer there, yeah. doesn't mean that the paperwork wasn't already... Exactly. Paperwork is it's still there. Like yeah, but... <sighs> and not even just button masks. Like just Jan animations in general. Like I, I is I, he I a, is he still a thing? Yeah, he still he streams and stuff. He play he streams Spyro the Reignited trilogy the other day actually. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Him, he's actually working on an original like animation show. So with like original characters and of course Shady Box is gonna be one of the voices and everything. But, yeah. All right, well, from, well, that's progress. From, yeah. It's like, he's gone from doing Hasbro's characters better than them to doing Hasbro's shows better than them. Yeah. Well, his own show better. You get you get the point. You you get the joke here. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I don't, remember, uh, I don't remember what it's going to be called. Let me look up real quick. I guess there's a V, like Fuck. Bolt Pine Wood or something like that. Oh, Damn no. it. Get up there. Uh, I okay the uh Thalms, I don't do Diablo. So I can't answer that question. What do you ask? He's asking uh the whole thing with Diablo being a mobile game. It's like dude, I don't Diablo. I don't play Diablo. Okay. I can answer the question. I mean... Uh I, I play Diablo. The thing with it being a mobile uh, I don't know why people are making so I, I oh, actually I do know why people are making such a big deal. Everyone was expecting Diablo 4 to be announced, but what they got was Diablo Immortal. Now, Diablo Immortal on the mobile on mobile could be a good game. We don't know that it's not out yet. We haven't played it yet. But everyone is just so upset that Blizzard didn't announce Diablo 4. I have no issues with Diablo Immortal because I, I really don't care, you know. It it might be cool to have if you have a mobile phone, but you know, that's my opinion. So I've never played Diablo, so it's not an issue of mine, but, you know, mobile exclusive games that up until then have been big games on other consoles and stuff kind of feels a bit shitty thing to do. Yeah, it's, like, it's like, all of you people who have enjoyed this game for so long, good luck unless you have an Android or an iPhone. They alienated their audience. That's what ticked them off. Yeah. Enter through here. Bam, ba, da, bam, 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 bam. Is it just me or did everything get quiet? I'm just like mm. thinking of things to talk about. Yeah, I'm trying to look at... I, I, this is going to bother me if I don't remember what this thing that Jan Animations is working on. Uh, unresolved or overview of can I go back to his previous streams? I'm gonna see if that doesn't have well, archived what streams here they are. Beautiful playlist. He doesn't actually say specifically what the name of it is. But it looks it looks cool so far. I've watched a few of the work streams. What's the point in a mech suit that has legs if it doesn't walk or run, it just skids across the ground? 
That's like having the Iron Man suit on rollerblades. It's the Iron Man suit. <laughs> Fun fact, they actually did do that once in a spin-off Iron Man series. work on some music <laughs> but I'm too lazy <laughs> that's kind of me sometimes when I work on reviews like I really ought to be more active and yet I'm not yeah more active where just in uploads it depends on how much you have available to you. I mean, I did four uploads last month, and I've been slow in getting anything out this month. So, if you're only one person, and you have other things to do with your schedule, and you have other things that are going on, then you do what you got to do. Yeah. So I understand the thing with content creators kind of, you know, they sort of brag on themselves when certain requirements they think they should be meeting aren't being met. But dude... You're a human being. <laughs> I try to at least have one song a month, uh, if I can. Uh, I know that this month I'm not releasing, but that's because I'm working on uh, multiple releases for next month. It's like I've been building on, it's like I've been building on the same dead ideas for 15 fucking years. Mm -hmm. I don't think only of myself. I just think I still have a long way to go. Yeah. I've been working on projects and other things, and some of them are ambitious, and some of them are just for fun doing them for whatever amount of time that I do them for, I don't rush people. And I'm not looking to try and cause like anything crazy to happen from my projects. It's just getting them there when they get there. But I don't mean to sound like I'm criticizing or, I'm, or I myself am trying to rag on you for ragging on yourself, but I just feel like you're unfair to yourself sometimes. <laughs> you know? It's like, oh. it's like, shut the fuck up and stop, stop doubting yourself. You're a beautiful human being. <laughs> Compliment yourself. You it's ever like, see Parks and Rec? Saw what? Have you ever seen the show Parks and I don't even know what that is. Uh, it was a comedy. It's the same show that uh, whoever plays Star-Lord is from. What's it? Uh... God, but, hmm. I forgot his name mostly because fucking in, in Infinity War, Star Lord pissed me off. Oh God! <laughs> He's like, I'm gonna fuck this whole mission up, even though we're right fucking there. You I, know, speaking of me. speaking of Infinity Wars, this is regarding Stan Lee and that he passed on. Um, I was kind of mixed about this. Um, somebody did a three-panel comic. Of Stanley and he's at his um, he's at his drawing board and in one of the panels as soon as he sets it down he starts dissolving away in the same way that happened in the movie I saw that and I'm just sitting there thinking I don't know what to think of that I, I, I retweeted that on Twitter actually I don't think they meant anything malicious by it it's like when I first saw it I felt a bit iffy about it but it's 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 weird I think it's trying to be poetic on how ultimately unfair the snap is in how it just takes people at random. And those people probably don't deserve it most of the time. Uh -huh. Alright, I think but, I got uh, all the armor pieces. It's it's Peter Quill. Uh, or not Peter Quill, no, this is it's uh, Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Chris Pratt got his start in a, a show called Parks and Rec. Huh. Okay. He played a character named Andy, and he was hilarious. Nice. Um, he basically wandered around. He ran the shoe sign, uh, shine stand for a bit, but like he did everything as the clueless guy, and he he plays the parts. <laughs> but I forgot the point that I was going to make when I was doing that because I forgot what Chris Pratt was, and I started focusing on that rather than what I was going. Huh. <laughs> Okay, so there's a good chance that given how long I've been streaming, there's I might have to push this to another day to hopefully finish off this game. 
This game takes a while to play through, surprisingly. Prana plant noms, what is this? Oh, nice. Om nom nom, prana plant nom on tail. I wanted to do one of those who would win meme, and it's just like, who would win? Tall, lanky, purple guy who likes using blunt objects to murder bludgeon people, or a fucking plant. Have you ever seen the Fallout memes that go along with uh, who would win? Not that I know of. Ah, oh, shit. Are, I are you familiar with Fallout New Vegas? Uh, I know of it, but I haven't played it. Well, the whole idea is that you're playing as the courier. You're basically a man. Hmm. So it's like, who would win? Killer robots? Or a man? Caesar's Legion? Or a mailman? <laughs> the Brotherhood of Steel? Or a mailman? <laughs> Obviously the mailman. An over, it's like an over, it's like an over 200 year old raisin who has a legion of killer security robots at his back? Or a mailman. A mailman. <laughs> but then it gets creative because the last DLC, who would win? A mailman or a... Oh yeah, because you fight Ulysses. <clears throat> Alright. Got everything there. Got everything there. Just scan through each of these stages because with the little head upgrade, it tells you all the pieces that you may have missed. Alright. Wait, somebody said the stream stopped. It's fine on my, my end. <laughs> Okay. Yo, we're still good here. All right. Uh, Derek says Deathclaw or, or dragons from Skyrim. Dragons from Skyrim because they can fly. Mhm. Mm dragons from Skyrim or Thomas the Tank Engine. Dragons uh, from Skyrim because fuck you. Thomas the Tank Engine because memes. Thomas the Tank Engine or I don't, Randy I don't Savage. Like, I don't like meme mods. I don't like meme mods. They're just so dumb. <laughs> I think that's the point. Yeah, I know, but it's not in a good way. Usually memes are funny, but it's like, oh, you've completely fucked your game by making it so your dragon's gonna be trained. Look, I play uh, the Fallout games and certain Bethesda games with the pony mod. Okay, it's fine if you want to play with a pony mod. I don't care about ponies. I just don't want my death course to be fucking trained. But Bethesda games are fun with mods. Yeah. And I have fun with mods on Bethesda games, just not with fucking trains. <laughs> Thomas, because ear rape? Logic what is this? Up. Is there something? Logic. Is there something unpleasant <laughs> to the ears regarding Thomas the Tank Engine? Yes, oh, well, I think he's referring to an SFM animation. <laughs> yeah, it's like a nice boosted stuff. Okay, <laughs> the only thing that comes close to something related to that is that. I've watched one of Markiplier's videos in his Don't Laugh Challenge, and one of which is an SFM of TF2 mixed with Tom's The Tang Engine, and then randomly it plays that theme song, the do 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 Yeah. That's, that's like, I know... Yeah, yeah that, that's that's really because somebody put the song and they cranked it to a peaking volume. Mm -hmm. I yeah, wouldn't say that's... the song is ear rape. That's just somebody who decided to just fuck around with the song. No, Golden, Golden. The person fucking with the song is what he's talking about. Meteor yeah. rape is fucking with the zone. Oh. They don't mean <laughs> I'm one of those people who don't like ear rape jokes because they're so obnoxious. <laughs> I just like the idea of Thomas the Tank Engine showing up during the execution where it's like it's what right was the that? It's right the fuck out of nowhere. <laughs> well you hear toot toot do, do, what do, was do, that? Do, do, do. You're welcome, <laughs> entity of darkness. Ah oh, fuck, I have to fight this asshole. When it comes to ear rape for me, it's like, it's okay for like the first few times, but like it gets old after like real fast. So. Bite. Frostfire. Did they really just call him Bite? <laughs> yeah. Yes, that's that literally bite. his name. This boss bites. It's a pain in the ass to fight. Like, a lot of like... bosses in this game are a big pain in the ass. This guy just likes to just pummel you around, like, he'll knock you around different, uh, walls. In case that wasn't obvious. And that's all he does. You have to be very patient with your maneuvers. And just, like, work with the pattern correctly. It's all about timing. Damn it! No, I did it too soon. No, I did it too late. Well, 
if all these powerful Reploids exist, don't they have powerful Reploids that can fight against these other than X and, uh, Zero? Wait, wait, Zero. I think I'm about to finish him off. Ha ha ha, gotcha, fucker. <laughs>